Howdy, this is Matt with the Low Cash Homestead, and today we are staring at a wall plate. Why are we staring at a wall plate? Or why are we staring at a receptacle? Well, because today we're going to be talking about device charging. So normally, when you buy a phone, you get something like this. And this goes to my wife's LG stylus. And um, this takes forever to charge. This is, you're not going to be able to see it on here, but this is like a 1.2 amp or 1.5 amp um, charger. Eh, not so great. Plus, the problem with these is they have a tendency to kind of ease their way out of the wall. So you think you're getting charged and you're not. Third problem, or the next problem with these, is they constantly disappear. So, uh, we're done with that. Next option we have is these. I actually enjoy these. These are little power cells. This is a 6600 uh, milliamp or microamp, whichever way you, you call it. Um, also charges up off of this, which then needs that or a device like it. It can take a long time to charge. Now, this can actually boot your phone up and really extend the life of your phone but again you have to charge it which brings us to what we're going to be doing today on the low cash homestead and that is we're going to be installing a usb um, outlet a receptacle with usb ports in it now i chose a higher charging one this is the top greener and if you can see down here it says dual usb ports with a total of 4.0 amps 5 volts DC. Now, from reading the instructions, which are here, um, it kind of it, it, it uses a smart charge technology, and it will divvy up the amperage between the USB ports on which device needs it most. So, if you have one device plugged in, you could potentially pull four amps of charge at five volts, um, but not necessarily. All right, because it will use the smart charge technology to determine which charge rate your device requires. So when you open it up, you get the standard wall plate with the two screws. Everybody's seen those. You get the snap-on wall plate with no screws. And then you get the device itself. And for some reason, when we bought this house, all the outlets were that way which I prefer them not to be upside down. I consider that to be upside down. Any of you like, uh, you know, union electricians or something, don't send me hate comments that I don't know what I'm talking about. That's the way they're supposed to go or whatever. I prefer them like this. When you look at this outlet, you're going to see that it wires up just like anything else. And it's, you know, conveniently labeled. Let's see if you can focus in on that. Hot. We can get the focus. Well, if that's hot, then the opposite is neutral, and the one on the bottom is always the ground then. So this is going to wire up just like any other outlet, and there's nothing to lose except maybe a cable. I guess you could lose a cable or a phone, you know, so it's not foolproof, but we will not be worrying about finding these things scattered all over the house. Uh, I've seen these before. You can find them at your big box stores. They run $15 and up. I think I paid right around 15 ordered this from Amazon. I'll put a link in the in the notes if you want to check one out for yourself. So um, we're going to get this installed. I'm not going to show that. There's you know, no point to it. It has instructions, and if you know how to put an outlet in or a receptacle in, then you know how to do it. Uh, so I'm not going to show that, but I just want to showcase the item a little bit, and then we'll come back to it when we're done. Thank you. Okay, uh, this is Matt with Low Cash Homestead. We're back. We have the project completed. Uh, it's in. Looks pretty good. Um, it's functioning. And uh, this is an old um, S3, I think, that we keep for. If you've been good, you get a video. Um, and of course, like I said, I mentioned in a previous video, everything we have to do here is, is cellular internet. So there's a lot of hotspot usage <laughs> that goes on here because that's really what there is. Uh, it's cellular internet. No, so a couple of things you're gonna need 
I love you too, big buddy. No, I think I'm okay. I don't think I'm going to fall and hurt myself, big boy. All right, you keep watching me. You keep watching me. So, some of the stuff you're going to need to do this. If you don't know which circuit your, your uh, outlet you're going to change is on, you're going to circuit tracer. Um, I prefer the ideal over the Klein. Uh, then you're going to need a uh, needle nose, flathead, stripper cutters, and then probably, you know, this is like a 5-in-1 or 6-in-1. It's a Buck Brothers, and I just need that for the Phillips because I didn't have a Phillips, uh, Phillips handy. And um, I would recommend also having a light. This one is, uh, we'll get into lighting stuff later and little flashlights and gizmos later um, because, you know, we do... I don't want to say frequently, but periodically have a, a power outages. So we'll discuss uh, emergency power at some other start of time. But, um, you know, so I recommend having some kind of hand hand light. So that's the stuff you're going to need to do it. And um, like I said, according to the instructions, this will charge. Depending on your device and the smart chip inside the outlet, should charge at up to up to 4 amps on some of your hydrain stuff. The speed chargers for the Samsung Galaxies, and uh, I have uh, the, the Galaxy J3 is the one that I use. Its rapid charger is 1.57 amps. Uh, we have another charger, and we'll, we'll do a video on that. That's our car charger. fits in a cup holder, has uh, lots of things um, that are good about it. And, but I run dash cams, and so I need multiple 12-volt uh, outlets. So anyway, this is just one of uh, of the solutions to keeping your devices charged, and there's there's nothing really to lose other than you could lose a cable, and you know, so I can plug in my power supply and my phone and and lots of other things, and it's a, a bit less likely that this right here again I'm shooting this all on a phone, guys, so sometimes it gets a little shaky. Uh, it's gonna just pop out of the wall. Then those little outlets, you know, this is the outlet behind my bed because I have a tendency to, you know, charge my device. It sits in the windowsill next to the bed. It's got my arm, you know, just like 99% of the rest of the world, right? Um, so I have to keep it close. All right, so this is Matt with Low Cash Homestead. Thank you, and you have a good day.